Hello, my name's Dave Ford, and this, can you say hello? Is my dog, Logan, out on another walk in the New Forest. And today, we're at the pretty little village of Bewley, which is in the southeast corner of the New Forest. And we're going to be doing a linear walk from Bewley down to Buckler's Hard and back. And we'll be doing a little woodland loop on the way back. It's cold. <laughs> it's December the 4th, it's about nought degrees. So Logan's got his thick coat on today. So let's get started, keep warm. We've got a little map next to me here. It shows us exactly where we are. There we go. You are here. And that's where we parked. Now, if you are coming here, the car park here is quite small. It's a pay and display job. Uh, I do believe that you can park at the National Motor Museum for free, just on the outskirts of the, uh, of the village. Let's get cracking. Now this is um, quite a, a touristy area, but obviously coming right in the middle of winter, it's uh, going to be quite quiet. Lots of uh, quaint little tea rooms and gift shops. Well, we're just coming down Fire Station Lane, and past the Montague Arms very old pub. Uh, I believe there's been a pub or an inn on the site since the 16th century. It's a listed building now. We're now on the Solent Way, which is a 60 mile trail that goes from oh, Milford on Sea all the way out to Emsworth. Well, I've already come across a little something to have a look at. It's a uh, a pillbox. Looks like it's in someone's private land, so we can't look inside. In fact, there's even a yeah, a little information board up. A good place to have a pillbox because um, you've got some great views of the the Bewley River. Now, there's some interesting little buildings like this dotted around Bewley because um, in the Second World War. The village was identified as a, well, what was known as an anti-tank island or a stop line to halt the progress of the Germans should they invade. In fact, there's a, a building just uh, as I pass by that's um, just by a bridge and it's got a, well, it's, it's now concreted or bricked up now, but you can see where there was a gun hole protecting the, uh, protecting the bridge, if gun hole is, a, is the right word to use. <laughs> We've just come through a little gate called Taylor's Gate. It's got quite an interesting uh, little system for making sure that the, <laughs> the gate closes. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about uh, Bewley. It gets its name from the words, um, the French words, beau and lieu or something like that. It, it basically means beautiful place. And as far as history is concerned, an abbey was built here in 1204 by 30 Cistercian monks that came over from France. And they were quite happy here until, of course, Henry VIII came along and we had the dissolution of, dissolution of the monasteries in the 1530s. And in 1538, the ruined abbey and a lot of the land was sold to the first Earl of Southampton, who was the ancestor of the Montague family that uh, still own the Bewley estate today. Well, I've just come down this very straight path. It's not going to be muddy today, in fact it's quite a well made path. And uh, just starting to get some lovely views of the River Bewley on one side and fields on the other. And from time to time on this walk, we'll be coming across some information boards. We're actually in the North Solent National Nature Reserve, uh, one of the largest nature reserves in the, in the whole country.
brickworks house and indeed these were the old uh, brickworks or the old estate brickworks built in 1790 they used clay provided from nearby pits in fact there was a small narrow gauge railway here in the 1850s and the bricks were used to build houses on the estate but uh, the actual brickworks themselves were closed in 1935 and you can see it's now a private house okay right next to where the uh, the brickworks were we've got a little information board and just behind these woods I'm not going to be able to see exactly where it was located was uh, somewhere called Bailey's Hard and that's where the first naval vessel was built here on the Bewley River the 48 gun Salisbury in 1698 we'll just come through a lovely little bit of woodland and begin to warm up nicely now ah, what have we got here see the wildlife of the river from keeping marsh bird watching hide hmm. should we go and have a look come on It's all gone rather dark in here. <laughs> all right, what have we got here? Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, let's have a sit down. Oh. Okay. Well, not a lot going on out there at the moment. I've got a little leaflet in front of me that tells me what we can see or should be able to see out here uh, godwits curlews red shank ringed plover dunlin widgeon well there's certainly no vast flocks out there at the moment they're either all having a lie in or they've gone somewhere for the winter Hmm. Okay, well, I think we'll carry on with our walk. <laughs> oh. Now, how do we get out of here? Ah, there we go. We're just passing behind a boatyard. It's called the Agamemnon Boatyard. And I'm guessing it's named after HMS Agamemnon, which was a ship built in 1781. It was Admiral Lord Nelson's favourite ship, apparently. 64 guns. Well, how about this for a really sweet little cottage? Isn't that lovely? That's called uh, the Duke's Bathhouse. Uh, George, Duke of Montague, owner of the Bewley estate, built this house in 1710 for his son who suffered from arthritis and it was thought that salt water was good for his condition so they built a pool in the garden and filled it with water from the river. Now, it became an estate house and then in 1971 it was a clubhouse for yachtsmen and now it's a, a private residence. But uh, isn't that lovely, what a beautiful view well <laughs> I think they're doing some sort of pile driving over in the far distance but I'm guessing that's not there all the time well we've made our way to Buckler's Hard and we're walking up the high street these were the old uh, labourers cottages uh, who were connected with the shipbuilding industry what I ought to say uh, regards to our walk if you walk from Bewley along the footpath and come here and just keep to the single footpath that goes through the village then it's free access but if you want to have a look at some of the uh, things like the museum and some of the displays then um, you have to pay a, an entrance fee
Now, Buckler's Hard was originally called Montague Town, built by the second Duke of Montague as a free port for trade with the West Indies. It was an ideal place to build ships and the shipbuilding industry started in the 18th century and was around here for 60 years or so before declining in the following century. I think as I mentioned before over 50 Royal Naval ships were built around here and three ships that fought in the Battle of Trafalgar were built here. During the Second World War motor torpedo boats were built here and in fact the whole area along the river was a base for landing craft getting ready for, for D-Day. Well halfway down the side of this little street is uh, well, it just looks like a you know, half hidden in the middle of the West Terrace, but there is a bell outside which gives us a clue as to what it is. And there's a sign, and this is the Chapel of the Blessed Virgin Mary, with a small little statue outside. Let's go and have a, a look inside. Ooh. Now, I don't know how light it is in here. Isn't this fascinating? Now this used to be a, a residence, then it became the village school, and it only seats about 40 people. And. Uh, I say it was an infant school in 1846 and they occasionally held services here. The school then closed in 1880 and a proper altar installed and uh, then the room was dedicated to St Mary. Isn't it wonderful? Now I don't know whether you can see just down here there's a glass pane and that is a hidden cellar that was used for bowl by smugglers in the 18th century. Now there's a, a memorial here up on the wall next to the museum. If I turn around remembering the 343 souls who perished on the SS Persia. It was a passenger liner sunk by a German submarine off Crete on the 30th of December 1915. It was very controversial as it broke recognised naval international law at the time. Now although John, the second Baron Montague of Bewley survived, his secretary and mistress, Eleanor Thornton, sadly died. Now she was the model for the Rolls-Royce spirit of ecstasy, it's believed. But uh, 343 people died of the 519 on board. Well, a lovely scene at the bottom of the uh, Buckler's Hard Street, looking out over the Bewley River. Now, it was here that Sir Francis Chichester started and finished his solo around the world voyage in Gypsy Moth the uh, 4th in 1966 and 1967. Now, although Sir Francis died in 1972 but I believe the boat is now owned by a trust and it does still make visits here from time to time. Well folks we've come to the end of our walk we hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting if you did please like comment and subscribe and hopefully you'll be able to join us for another walk in the new forest sometime in the future. Now Logan and I are going to walk back to Bewley and find a nice little tea room somewhere. In the meantime, thanks for watching and cheerio. Well, one day if I win the lottery, that'd be rather nice wouldn't it? about this one. A bit chilly with the roof down today I should think. So Austin Healy 3000 Mark III. Uh, 
as I say, I, I shall keep doing the lottery.